Hello students, welcome to Next Level Academy. Step up your career. Now this video is is regarding Jibma Nursing Officer Exam Skill Test 2022 Orientation. Now we shall go to the video. So when you appear for the skill test, the first and foremost thing they are going to conduct is the certificate verification. So all the certificates which you have submitted so far while on uh, the registration for the written exam that they are going to verify. You have to bring the rank letter, downloaded copy, SSLC, that's 10th mark sheet, age proof, 12th mark sheet, degree certificate, nursing council certificate, your regist registration, RNRM, community certificate if you are a government employee you have to bring the noc no objection certificate if uh, people um, the, the candidate who are not a government employee this is not necessary and next you have to bring the experience certificate if you have and uh, for uh, the obc non creamy layer uh, people uh, there are some uh, things which you have to notice is like um, so this actually they are actually uh, expecting a new financial year certificate see which suppose if a candidate if they have uh, uh, if they have obc certificate which is uh, uh, which is uh, they have uh, got it on the february 2021 so this will be valid till march 2021 so next april month from April month onwards, you have to uh, you have to make another uh, OBC non creamy layer certificate. So this will uh, this will be valid till March. Okay, did you understand? Next is the biometric checking. So they'll um, they'll check your the biometric. Uh, uh, validations and uh, next they will divide you into group they'll divide into group like four groups and they will post you in four stations for skill test why so it is actually they can evaluate uh, uh, they can evaluate uh, skill test for uh, the whole students if it's like uh, n number of uh, number of candidates they can't evaluate they'll not have time so this is an easy method this also happened in uh, uh, pgmr chandigarh so the same thing they are uh, conducting over here even last year they have done the same so you'll be divided into four groups and they'll provide you four stations and they'll set up a time okay they'll give time five minutes suppose if you are in station one you will have five minutes and they'll have some questions over there or some demonstration to be done so you will have five minutes and after five minutes they'll ring the bell you have to switch on to the station two there it goes on you can't able to talk or um, you know copy each other okay you guys are good i know you will not do that so this is what it's going to be next let's uh let's we discuss something about the uh some questions which uh, they have asked in previous year skill test because you no know, you may not have any idea so how the skill test is going to be what are the questions they are going to ask and uh, how i have to prepare so all these things you now let us discuss for a few minutes so the total marks is about 100 okay in each station you will be you will have 25 marks 25 marks and 25 marks and 25 marks okay which will have different different uh, kind of a method of skill test okay which you are going to discuss now so you will have some uh, some uh, equipments uh, some dummies okay where you will perform some skill like adult and neonatal resuscitation SWOT like cpr okay even like bag and bag and mass ventilation they'll be <coughs> Uh, you will have an amber bag okay and you will have a dummy where you have to take and you have to perform it and somewhere you have to uh, face some questions like you know like uh, um, uh, obstetrical score 
you have to somewhere you have to write down the uh, the names of the uh, um, instruments surgical e equipments and that kind of things okay we are going to discuss it uh, so these are the questions uh, which were asked in the previous year adult and neonatal resuscitation im injection for neonate instruments identification mostly it will be surgical equipments drug calculations and iv calculations obstetric score nasal prongs infant feeding tube spinal needle edd expected date of delivery fluid and drug calculation as i told you earlier subcutaneous injection gtpal cardiac monitoring im injection procedure ecg monitoring you may be given like ecg uh, graph you have to find out which it is hand washing procedure you have to demonstrate hand hand washing procedure step by step bag and mask ventilation here you have to perform catheterization male and female endotracheal tube with sizes so these are the few questions which were were asked in the last last year exam last year jipmer uh, exam for the skill test okay uh, and some more some more questions are there these questions including these questions and some more questions uh, will be discussed in the further more uh, further more videos okay in next level academy videos please follow us and uh, get the benefit thank you guys for the cooperation and um, please subscribe like share and subscribe thank you once again we'll see in the next video bye